I'm Don Cohen. I've been uh, living in Michigan now over 30 years. And I basically set up a business 30 years ago to measure parts for people, 3D surface texture measurements. I was fortunate to be involved in the development of some early technology in the late 80s. Uh, that involved measuring surface texture in three dimensions. And being from Michigan, I decided to come back home and start a business. I've been able to basically make a career out of measuring and analyzing the surface texture, all kinds of people and across all kinds of industries. And so what I'm here to do is to show you what I've been doing and see if I can help you solve some of your problems. What I've been doing for these last 30 years now is helping people solve problems usually related to squeaks, leaks, friction, wear, appearance, or adhesion, generally, and how surface texture affects that. That's what I do. And I measure parts first from a research point of view of helping to solve the problem. And a lot of times I get involved in sort of high volume measurements where we're just simply monitoring a process. Or when it comes to things like wear measurements, I work with companies that have me kind of dialed into their wear labs. By now, it's thousands of thousands of clients and thousands and thousands of projects that I've done. Being in Michigan, of course, I work a lot with the automotive industry and related industries. Automotive applications, as you imagine, are plentiful. You start with your hands on the steering wheel and you move out. Everything you touch and think about basically has surface texture. The dashboard, the seats, um, you name it, all the way to the engine. And inside the engine, as you imagine, there's a lot of critical components particularly the cylinder bore and the ring that slides across that cylinder bore, as well as the transmissions, all the gears and the clutch plates and the brakes, the, the brake surfaces and all the control mechanisms of the brakes. There are all kinds of actuators, but a lot of moving parts. That means a lot of sliding parts, a lot of rolling parts, and we've got to make sure the surface finish is adequate. These types of applications you know, are plentiful throughout many industries, not just automotive. The medical industry has a lot of need for surface finish understanding. Anything where blood comes into contact with something, as well as wear components like hip implants and knee implants. So all those things end up being squeaks, leaks, friction, wear, appearance, or adhesion, but they're related to medical. Other industries as well, just the general metal finishing industry. When you go buy a faucet, I may have measured some of the parts that led to that faucet. And in the optical world, of course, I work a lot on equipment for measuring contact lenses and surface finish of mirrors and other types of scanning elements. Anything that has to do with lasers bouncing off of something, that something has to be really smooth. So I get involved in measuring those. So the machine that I use right now currently is called the Bruker NP Flex, a vertical scanning interferometer. So these basic interferometers work pretty much like a microscope. So if you think in terms of a microscope, uh, the only difference is, is this microscope has in it an interferometer. And the interferometer creates this interference fringe pattern over the surface you're looking at. And as we scan vertically through that surface, that fringe pattern sweeps over the surface. We do a bunch of image processing and is able to figure out where the heights are of each point in that image to within nanometer and even angstrom precision or resolution. Besides vertical scanning interferometry, it has phase shifting interferometry, which allows us to measure optical components, super polished things, literally nanometer average roughness, as well as something I'm very excited about, something called VXI, which is a combination of phase shifting and vertical scanning. So we're able to measure literally sub nanometer surface finish on curved parts uh, and other types of surfaces. It just couldn't have been done a few years ago. The measurement area, we use high magnification lenses. We can look at like 100 micron by 100 micron areas with resolution about a micron or less laterally. And then we can use other lenses and other techniques called stitching where we can look at many, many millimeter areas. So we've really improved over the years the range of distance we can measure as well as the height and the resolution of the height. I also want to mention that you may be more familiar with a two-dimensional profilometer, usually called stylus profilometers we can emulate that in our software. So we can take our three-dimensional data and then break it down so that it looks like two-dimensional data. There's a lot of flexibility to allow us to relate our 3D data back to maybe your historic 2D data. The basic projects I do really break down into two uh, applications. One is just quantifying texture where people are developing a part and they want to get the surface texture right. And we'll look and measure the surface texture. And we have a whole number of different surface texture parameters and techniques we can use to ascertain what is about that surface texture that might be affecting, say, blood clotting or fluid leaking. 
Another application I do quite a bit of work in is just simply wear measurement. So someone might have a component and it's starting to fail and they realize it's wearing out. So what they want to try and do is say, can we quantify the wear and see if we can predict when the part will wear out? Then maybe we can make some changes to the design or the material properties, test it again and have good quantitative data to be able to provide you know, confidence that part will not wear or will wear after so many hours of operation. I really provide two types of projects. One is what I call 3D micro texture measurement and analysis, where someone needs to solve a problem and do some research. So we usually start with three good parts and three bad parts. And then I take a look at them and see what I can see in the surface finish that might predict a good part or a bad part. And once we can quantify the surface texture and relate it, then we can test and see if that surface texture really is the cause of a problem or it just happens to correlate and so what, what I basically produce is a report with all the color graphics, to get all the data and spreadsheets. Once I've done a report like this, as all part of the service, we usually set up a Teams meeting and we sit down and review the results. The other type of project I'll do is what I call 3D microtexture measurement and inspection, where instead of writing more of an elaborate report, we just get data out to people. So people will send a number of parts, hundreds of parts maybe, and we set up a very simple protocol and those can be turned around if they're not too many parts pretty quickly as well. So you can get a lot of feedback going if you're trying to debug a process or you know, optimize some kind of process. Besides bringing my expertise of 30 years of measurement and analysis, I provide measurement services for people. I'm basically a good contract measurement lab that people use you know, throughout the year for small projects and sometimes very large projects and sometimes very continuous projects. And then sometimes people will literally dial me into their process where I will be in their workflow and I'll get calls from their supplier saying they need to send parts to me because so-and-so wants the parts measured by you and then back. So my name sometimes appears in different specs throughout the industry. The last thing I do offer though is some training. I do teach a class once a year here in Michigan, usually in the spring. And this is a two day deep dive class into the field of surface metrology and tribology. So most of the applications I deal with, friction, wear, lubrication, the idea is to connect the surface metrology world to the general tribology world. And that class basically serves as a launching point for people who want to dig into it. On occasion, that class I can teach on site for longer distances, I've been doing them over the internet. And I've done some internationally like that, which have worked out really well. This is what I do. I help people solve problems related to squeaks, leaks, friction, wear, appearance and adhesion. I do it by analyzing 3D surface texture measurements. If you think I can be of help to you, feel free to fill out our contact form so we can set up a Teams meeting and discuss your application. But even if you don't need my help right now, feel free to reach out anytime via the website. I'm always open for a good discussion about surface metrology.